the robot effects ADR indicator shows the uh, ADR values uh, for uh, three different periods of time that uh, you can choose by yourself in the indicator settings and uh, let's start with the settings first uh, you have the option to set the number of days three periods that they will show uh, the indicator itself will load on the chart in a separate window a very uh, uh, thin uh, window at the bottom of the chart so it doesn't take space on the main chart uh, this is all the indicator um, where, uh, on the Australian dollar US dollar chart and we have the ADR showing uh, the ADR daily uh, which is for uh, the previous uh, day uh, sorry which is for uh, well, today and that is an average what could be today uh, the previous day uh, the previous five days and uh, previous 10 days and previous 20 days and this number of days you can change 5, 10, 20 within the indicator settings 5, 10 and 20 uh, we are in this example and these are all the settings for the indicator now not so many people know about the uh, ADR indicator and it's often mistaken with the ATR indicator uh, which is the average true range ATR, ADR uh, sorry, is the average daily range and it basically shows uh, it makes an average um, and uh, an average of the price move movement for a, a specific number of days so uh, in this uh, example the previous days were was 596 uh, 95 points almost 60 pips well this is the the fixed value because it is only for one day it cannot be an average so uh, it shows uh, by the way i chose to to show on the chart the period separators by clicking this uh, box and uh, it shows 596 points the how much the price moved from its lowest uh, uh, low to its highest high on the previous day yesterday which was um, that was 595 let's show on the chart now for the previous five days the ADR indicator calculates the average of the uh, this the last five days one two three four five and uh, so we have uh, one day was 60 uh, I cannot see this uh, uh, one second please let's make this white or silver something all right much better so first day was uh, an average of uh, 600 and something points second day was an average of 690 points third day was again 880 almost fourth day 1400 almost and so on and so the, the uh, ADR takes all these values for five days uh, sums them up and divides them by five of course to make the, the, the average for the last five days and then it makes exactly the same for the previous ten days and so it calculates one two three four five six seven eight nine ten days and calculates the average how is this useful and how some traders are using it is to, uh, to, to calculate the take profit uh, that's one use and the, probably the most important of them so for example today the day just started uh, here with this vertical line uh, yesterday was 29 February now it's 1st of March the day just started this is the daily open line and the ADR calculated an uh, estimated uh, um, value based on the previous values of around 800 for the last five days, ten days and twenty days an estimated value of eight hundred points so that means that the ADR thinks that the price will move uh, uh, somewhere around eight hundred points from its highest high here until its lowest low that is supposed to be here at zero point 
seven zero seven. Let's draw a line. Seven zero seven somewhere here. So the indicator tells us that the price it's possible to move only with this uh, a range from its highest high uh, of eight hundred points. Well, this is helpful because if you are, for example, um, think about opening a cell here, uh, then you might want to, to set a take profit or a first take profit or make it so it will trigger a break even um, as soon as the price is uh, somewhere close to this, uh, this uh, level here. Uh, because here we are assuming the we don't know if the price will continue further down or maybe it will rise up um, assuming again that uh, the ADR for today will be uh, within the same values as the previous uh, 5 days, 10 days and so on and it will follow the same average of 800 points so maybe it's a good point uh, once the, if you are selling here once the price reaches this level to set a break even and then see what happens or just take some profit or take full profit depending on your trading style so this is uh, probably the most important way uh, people use the ADR to, to set the take profit uh, oh, th this is how I see it although I'm not using the ADR in my tradings at all and I've never used it but for those using it I think it's a good indicator and useful and uh, you can download it for free of course so go ahead and visit the website, download it and tell me what you think.